Hi, welcome to the lesson on cellular networks. The most familiar kind of network connection that can be used by IoT devices is a cellular network. Our mobile phone uses cellular network. So today we are using our mobile phones. We may be using 2G, 3G, 4G, right? So all these are cellular networks. Cellular technology is a long distance network. Cellular technology is pretty different from short range technologies such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It uses a global network of transmitters and receivers to carry voice, text and digital data using radio waves. As there is no single hub or even devices to device connection, cellular transmission relies on a network of transmission towers to communicate data. These towers are built using a cellular design, with each network divided into several overlapping geographical areas, or we call them as cells. It's structured like a honeycomb, with cells overlapping each other, so that no matter where you are, you fall under the range of a cell, and hence a cellular network. Let's try and forget about any call drops you may have had recently, because that's the technology behind cellular networks. There is a base station that lies at the center of a group of cells and works as a hub, not for the entire network, but just for that piece of the network. But when we talk of cellular networks in relation to the Internet of Things IoT, we have to also talk about an acceptable level of speed that makes IoT device networking possible. Almost everyone knows about 2G, 3G, 4G or LTE, but all we know is that 3G is better than 2G and LTE is the best and 5G is being tested. But what's the actual difference? And what does really IoT need? Especially uh, these 5Gs, we need to understand about uh, what is uh, you know G in 5G or 3G, 4G. Okay, essentially these Gs stands for the type and speed of the data connection that your phone uses. Think of it as a data connection standard. It all started with GPRS, which stood for General Packet Radio Service and was more commonly referred to as 2G technology that evolved into E or Edge, which makes a slightly enhanced version of GPRS. This could give you anywhere around 100 kilo uh, bytes in download speeds or we can say 100 kbps the real revolution came with 3g after 2g e now uh, we are seeing 3g so 3g is uh, best when compared with 2g and also gave your phone at least a few hundreds kbps in speed then after this came h which was to 3g and we have seen uh, in 2G E, for 3G it is H, a significant enhancement that pushed speeds now into single digit MBs per second. So 3G uh, H will give you the speeds at you know Mbps. And today we are in the 4G age, where our phones on a good day can reach double digit speeds in megabytes. Like sometimes we can get speeds 20 Mbps, 10 Mbps. 5 Mbps, yeah, right. So it's a pretty, uh, very good uh, speed. And currently being tested in is 5G. So uh, people are testing 5G, and where we can hope to serve the internet on cellular networks at a very large speeds, uh, ranging from 1 to 10 GB per second. The IoT will need fast speeds. So a minimum requirement of 4G or LTE seems to be a must. We know that uh, you know in IoT we transfer videos, we transfer images, we transfer uh, sensor data over the network. Okay, so a 4G or LTE uh, is good for Internet of Things. But while cellular is capable of sending large quantity of data, what has not been cracked is how to offset or how to reduce the expenses and vast quantities of power consumed because the cellular networks uh, uses uh, more uh, power. So how to reduce the power? Because we want to operate IoT devices with batteries, 
right so if you want to operate with the batteries the power should be reduced power consumption should be reduced but because of its capacity to transmit data over long distances cellular technology may factor as a key player in internet of things connectivity it may not be a great choice for connecting devices that are close to each other or within the same environment for example uh, if you want to connect a sensor uh, with an activator in your room it is not good to go with the cellular uh, network it is better to choose uh, short range technologies like wifi or bluetooth but uh, if you want to connect you know far uh, distance devices uh, maybe in kilometers range then it is always good to go with the uh, cellular networks uh, it could be a primary connection between a master hub and far off iot devices so a, uh, we understood cellular network is a promising solution for long range uh, you know uh, you know iot connectivity and we can connect uh, devices uh, in kilometers wherever your iot uh, device is you can connect that to the master hub it is possible but you know the challenges are how to reduce the power how to reduce the expenses